open the knife, clean, let's start from the left side first, look at these big rudders, oh my god, this is the biggest sheep that I've ever caught, it's uh, 9.79 pounds, oh gosh, 23.5 uh, inches long, like those teeth, yeah, he's missing one. He sure is a bad boy. He's been in too many fights before. See, so this is where I hooked him. Look at the size of the eye on him. They say sheep have very keen sense of smell. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the job. First, insert your knife just behind the rudders. Yes. Do that. Do that. Just follow through his head like that because there is so much meat right here. Many people just go like that, but I just go around like that. Just turn him around. Cut it like that. Just start doing that. Okay, I'm going to make the incision. Feel the bones. Like I said for my flounder video. Feel the bones. Feel the bones. Center bone right there. Just go on top of the center bone. Now you just go there. Go there. That. Do that. And then you lift it up and then see. Then you go over the rib cage like that. See that? See that? That's all you do. That's all you do. If we can stay. Well, now we can see it's sliding all over the place. Uh, usually I put a uh, paper towel underneath it so it doesn't slide. So. Oh, like that, like that, gentle strokes, like that, like that, like that, dig on a 45 degree angle after this bone right here, go like that, like that, and what I do is just go this way, this way. Okay. Now you see, that's one side of the fillet. Goes that way. You see, I took a lot of meat out of the headset. Usually, when so you see somebody do a fillet job on a sheep head, that's pretty much what you get. But look at mine, it goes on the head. And pretty much, as you can see, I've taken all the meat out of this side and this side. And don't mess with the rib cage because you're not getting any meat. And even if you get some meat, it has some uh, ooey gooey stuff inside it. It doesn't say it tastes so good. So that's it. Let's turn them around. Go to the other side. Same thing. Lift this rudder up. Just dig like right there. Do that. Come around. Press down on his head like that. Now, here comes the magic part. Do that. Usually you can get this in one single stroke. Look at that. Look at that. Just slide just deep enough to cut his skin off. See that? Just like that. Just like that. Just like, just like that. You go here. Just do that. Now, feel the bones. Feel the bones, left, feel the bones, feel the bones. 
bones. It almost becomes a cliche when I say feel the bones, but it is that important to lose, to not lose meat on the beast. I can see her on the center vertebrate, just do it on top of it. Now, what I do, go like that, just you have to do, do that on top of the kid. You see that? That's it. Now you turn them around again. See? Hold them like that. And then, well, if you're a fisherman, you don't get mine. My, I mean, you don't mind getting slimy anyways, and especially cleaning a big sheep head like this. I just do that. See? See? You make some gentle strokes like that. And start peeling like that. Gentle strokes, gentle strokes, gentle strokes. Gentle strokes. Turn them around. Turn them around. That's it. As you can see, this is a flayed sheep head. You have no mess, no guts popping out, except for some blood here and there, but it's okay. Took all the meat right out of here, the meat out of here. The body cavity is intact. The meat is gone, meat is gone. Now he goes back to... You want the cooler, eh? Open it, eh? Open the cooler. There you go. Whoa, it's a big one. Huh? Okay, there you go. Well, I don't want to put all the scale, scales in the sink, so I'm going to just go straight to plain them. So now comes the good part, taking them off the skin. Well, you can cook them in so many different ways. Now this is a good solid fillet. You, yeah, you could have scaled them before you fillet them, or you can scale them now by putting them on top of a paper towel and throw them on the grill like that. Uh, we Indians put in, uh, put in grease, you know, so I'm going to fill in and uh, make some nice chunks. Recent recipe I found out real good that tastes, makes sheep head taste real good is blackened sheep head. That's right, blackened sheep head. Try it guys. It's awesome. Get some Zetarian's uh, blackening uh, uh, seasoning and that's it. Let's go. Just do it right here. Go down. I cut like that. Just lift to make sure you're not missing any meat and then go around that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Feel the skin all the time and then just lift your meat and then lay them on your hand like that so that you don't make any mistake by waste a lot of meat. Okay. That's it boys. Look at the pretty fillet right here. Again, like flounder, all fish have a skirt meat. I usually take them off, feed them to the pond. Fishes in there, they'll be happy with that. And uh, as you can see, a big fish like this has been around for a while and uh, has a considerable bloodline. Um, I usually take all the blood uh, bloodline out, so it's just white, white meat. And you all know how good a sheep it tastes, so let's go to the other fillet. I'm gonna put them right here. Oh, it's, oh, it doesn't even a bit of, bit of plate, you know? Let's put them like that. Hang on, hang on. Enjoy the scenery while doing my cleaning right here. Just place it right here. Go to the other side. Put them down. Put them 
lay on your palm, go down like that, on your palm, on your palm, and go up like that. Alright folks, now that is a boneless sheep's head fillet. And that says it looks like a chunk of meat you took off a goat or a sheep. <laughs> Look at the coincidence, it's called a sheep's head. Well, well, that's all, folks. I hope you learned something from this video. I'm trying to tell you that uh, I'm no expert in cleaning sheep head, but this is the way I do it, and it does a clean job, no mess, nothing. That's it. Good luck. And go catch him up. And if you're in the tournament, good luck to you all. Bye.